is no separation. There is no someone else, my dear. It doesn't exist. It looks like it. It tastes like it. It smells like it. It appears to be duality. But that duality is coming from the oneness. God is playing both sides, the light and the dark. In this quest for light, we're fighting against the dark. It's all itself. It's all itself. Look through it and you will see it for yourself. Switch your glasses. Take these glasses that you're separate. You're a little, little itty bitty individual and you're helpless. Take those glasses out and put your other glasses on and you will see it for yourself. You will see God is behind everything because nothing can exist outside of God, nothing. No virus, no disease, no circumstances, no enemy army, nothing can exist be outside of God. God is the only thing there is. Make that your mantra and look at everything that way and your vision changes. And when, but while you're doing this, what you want to do on a regular basis, especially now through this thing is happening, you know, all this chaotic stuff, this is the moment that more than ever, you want to dive into your spirituality. You want to be with your guru. You want to be with your teachers. You want to be with those who are in light. You want to be with the wise ones because everybody else is panicking and freaking out. And you want to be with that message that text turns you back inwards to your own center. This is that moment. So we bring our attention inwards and we dive into that which is before any thoughts come before these anxiety come, go back into the place, go back to the source of it. And every time you go back into your own source, you will see it's quiet. Nothing is happening. You come back to silence. You will be amazed in the midst of all of this chaos, how blissed out you're gonna get completely blissed out, completely in union with divine presence. And you will see for yourself that all is well. Nothing is wrong. There's nothing wrong. It's all exactly the way it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be this way. Ignore the noise. Don't pay any attention to the noise. Come back to the truth of who you are. Keep your attention on the truth of who you are. Know that you're divine being. Know that you're timeless. Know that nothing can destroy you. Your body, yes, it will die but not your consciousness, not I am, not your presence, not the, the sense of being, that sense you have that you are is going to remain the same forever. The rest is a show. It's not real. None of it is real. It's a show. The entire thing you're looking at as the world is just a show. It's an animation. It doesn't exist. It's non-existing. It doesn't exist because, and I'm telling you, the proof is in the pudding. It doesn't exist because it doesn't stay the same. It's constantly changing from one thing to another thing. It has no solidity. It does not remain the same. It changes all the time. It's not real. 
what is real is that which remains the same all the time. It's always the same. And that's I am. That's the presence. That's the watcher. The one who's aware is always aware. The awareness remains the awareness. Everything else appears and disappears. Hi, Yana. <laughs> Hi, Zeratustra. Thank you so much. It was divine and magical. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's actually like you, you just said it on time because like me and my children will go to Bali in... Uh, in, in May, so I was, yesterday I was so freaked out and I didn't know, and I'm going through Taos, Korea. So I was wondering like, what should I do? What should I do? Should I just return to it or cancel the trip? And, you know, I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Right. Yeah, just, <clears throat> of course, we, <clears throat> we want to be intelligent. We want to be aware. We don't want to be asleep but we don't want to fall into the fear. And yes, there is a virus or whatever the story is, whether it's man-made and they've created it and they're testing it and they're creating things or it's something that evolved on its own. And it's hard for me to believe that, but whatever is the story. And yes, if you contract it, there's a possibility of dying. Excuse me, I just dropped my phone. And there is a possibility that something happens. So returning to that question, what I asked before the, the meeting, like, because everybody is like, uh, when you sign, right, and you balance and everything like is fine, but you go into society and they say your friends like people whom you know you know and they all like oh my god what is going on this and that and they expect something from you like say something like something right and it's hard to explain people about like 5d consciousness about this divine power and energy and i try to find the right words you know for those people who in who is in all this frustration and what you can suggest, what you can recommend? Right. Well, you, it depends on the level of consciousness of a person. Like for example, uh, I've learned that I need for, let's say someone in my family, uh, they're very close to me or friends and they don't believe I have a connection with them, but let's say family, you're connected to them. And uh, you can't deny them, you can't just walk away because they're not conscious or they don't know anything about what we're talking about. So they're ruled by their emotions and their thoughts and they're ruled by the fears and everything, correct? And we're talking about someone from the mainstream. Is that, is that? What you're referring to? Yes, we're talking about the family members, people who you know, but also the people whom we don't know. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. So I look at them. Just imagine that you are talking to children. If you're talking to your seven, eight-year-old, I don't know how old are your kids, but eight. eight. You don't. You don't use this language you're using with with us here, you use a different language with them. And if you wanna reach out to them, you have to find a point of interest for them so they can hold their attention and you communicate with them according to their consciousness, their awareness. 